Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit. And I want to thank the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. So today I'm going to continue on like a short that I did yesterday, which is on honesty. Well, honesty is, is like I say, one of the uh, legs, spiritual legs that my, uh, that my spirituality uh, stands on. Uh, honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness. You know, these are three uh, spiritual principles uh, that, that uh, I have uh, stand on and I cultivate and I, and I continually uh, work on, you know, to, uh, to enhance my uh, spiritual maturity and, and to help me, you know, uh, uh, cultivate that spiritual, you know, that personal relationship with God, you know, and because it helps you keep that dirt off your relationship with God. And honesty is, is a big one, you know, because uh, because that that keeps the door open, you know, to allow uh, to allow God to to keep that communication going with God. Praise God. But uh, this is uh, on honesty. This is out of this beautiful uh, life recovery Bible that God put in my path, you know. Uh, if you want to know about, you know, uh, not only God's words, but also spiritual principles and steps, this Bible is, is a great tool. And I thank God for, for putting it in my, in my possession. Praise God. Living in denial is living dishonestly. How many times have we lied to ourselves and others saying, I can stop anytime I want to, or I have the right to choose how to live my own life, or... Or maybe my behavior doesn't affect anyone but me. Ironically, as we asserted our freedom to live as we choose, we soon lost the freedom to choose anything other than our addiction. We became enslaved to them. Uh, I'm, I, I can attest to that, you know, because it'd get to a point, you know, where, you know, I was using and then it started using me and I couldn't stop. Uh, and, and, you know, that's why it's important to have a personal relationship with God because, you know, as long as we uh, depend on God, no matter uh, what addiction we have, uh, you know, and, and a lot of people, like I say, addiction to ego and they don't realize it. But God can, can deliver us from any addiction, but it'll be in his time, not ours. All we have to do is just don't give up, no, you know, no, and because, uh, you know, nothing happens outside of God's time. And having that faith in him and knowing that, that he's going to come through for you, man, that, 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 that you, you can't beat that because because devil ain't going to come through for you. But, you know, when you when you trust God and, and you have that person with him, you know he's going to come through for you. I mean, because he's come through for me so many times. He's never let me down. Man's going to let you down. Satan's going to let you down. But God, God will never, ever, ever, never let you down. But it might not come in your time, but it'll happen in God's time. So just don't give up. Don't give up. Uh, because a lot of people give up right before the miracle happens. So don't give up no matter, you know, what you're going through. Just keep your sights on, on Jesus. Keep your sights on God, and, and it's going to happen. Praise God. Jesus said to some people who believed in him, you are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. I, I'm doing my best. You know, I'm, I'm always open to, to God, to Jesus' teachings. Amen. I love Jesus' teachings because it's all about love and truth and honesty. Praise God. The real power. There's no power greater than love. God is love. Praise God. And you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Woo, boy, get free, y'all. Roll with that truth. Uh, lies ain't going to keep you free. Because when you when you roll with that lie, you always got that shoe that you're waiting for it to drop. And, and let me tell you, at some point, that shoe going to drop. Uh, but truth, you know, you're free. You're free from waiting for that shoe to drop. You know, you, you, you don't have to carry that negative baggage around. So you can, you know, with truth, you can drop all that negative baggage and be free. I tell you the truth. Everyone who sins is a slave to sin. A slave is not a permanent member of the family, but a son is part of the family forever. So if the son sets, sets you free, you are truly free. Why can't you understand what I am saying? It's because you can't even hear me, for you are the children of your father, the devil. Ooh, so, you know, if you're not rolling with truth, uh, uh, and, and you're deceiving and lying, then uh, God's not your father. Your father's the devil. That's what it says right here. Why can't you understand what I am saying? It's because you can't even hear me, 
for you are the children of your father the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning. He has always hated the truth because there is no truth in him. If you hate the truth, then your father is the devil. So, you know, make that assessment. You know, look within and see where you're coming from. If you can change, you still got time. You got breath in your body. If you hate truth, uh, if you want everlasting life, if you want peace, you want uh, uh, freedom, uh, uh, turn to truth and turn to love and turn to Jesus and turn to God and you'll be free. And, and then your father won't be the devil to be God. When he lies, it is consistent with his character. For he is a liar and the father and the father of lies. That's John 8, 31, uh, 36, and 43, 44. The spiritual force that sways our lives have roots in either truth or deceit. Truth leads to freedom. Deceit leads to bondage and death. Denial is a life that keeps us in slavery. When we are a slave to our addictions, we lose the right to choose any other way of life. It is only when we break the cycle of denial, when we become brutally honest about our bondage, that there is any chance for real freedom. So we can be free. All we have to do is be truthful and honest and, and open up those doors and allow God to help us with it and then be patient and let it happen in his time. But anyway, that's all I have today, family. There's no relationship greater than the one with our loving and glorious creator. Let love reign in your life. I love you. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Bye.